A 106-year-old man living in North Spokane has earned a distinction that no one else in the world can lay claim to. John Babcock is the last living Canadian World War I veteran. Until today, there were two veterans remaining. But 106-year-old Dwight Wilson died today in Toronto, leaving Babcock as the last man standing. I had the honor of sitting down with Mr. Babcock, who wanted to serve his country and fight for freedom so badly that he volunteered not once but twice. Well, I was uh, going to go to war, or I, th I thought I was. Now, at age 106, that war is a long time ago for John Babcock. He was just 15 and a half when he decided the Army was for him, so he tried to enlist. I was turned down, but for some reason or other, my name wasn't posted with the guys that were turned down. So I put my pack on and got on the train, went to Halifax. But just as he was about to board the ship for Europe, he was pulled aside, told he couldn't go. There would be no battles for Babcock. And they sent me up to Wellington Barracks. That was a peacetime barracks in Halifax. And they had me rattling freight. But he was determined, kept looking for the opportunity to get overseas. And they called for volunteers of 40 men to go to the RCRs. That's the Royal Canadian Regiment. And I volunteered. And this time he slipped past the checkpoints and sailed for England. Afraid? No, I wasn't sm smart enough to be afraid. And neither were the 1,300 others in the Young Soldiers Battalion. A third of them fought in France. Many died. Babcock never made it to the battle lines. By the time he was ready to leave England, the war ended. And in the Roaring Twenties, he moved to the United States, joined the U.S. Army, served for three years, and became an American. Private John Babcock left the military behind, becoming an electrician, eventually starting his own business here in Spokane. So I asked, how does it feel to be the only living Canadian who fought in World War I? How it feels? Well, <laughs> feels like I'm sitting here on the couch <laughs> talking to two gentlemen. <laughs> Uh, there's no great thing about it. 